to a guy and uh, say on y'all's wedding day, you're about to walk down the aisle and somebody walks up to you and says, hey, look, we just found out that Greg used to be a gay porn star and he has all these films all over you porn and all these porn sites. And uh, yeah, he's he did gay porn for 20 years and then he came and married you and he lied the last three years before you all get married. And yeah, he was he's a gay porn. He's, he did gay porn. Are you OK with that? Are you still going to get married to him? You're going to walk down the aisle? I think. The gay porn doing that really wouldn't bother me as much. It's the lying part. It's the mm. point that you couldn't look me in the eye and tell me something, and I don't want to marry someone that's deceitful. What, what if what what if he told you, you know, like if he told you a little bit before, a year before, like he proposed, but he was like, "Look, I'm going to propose, but I need to tell you something." Would you be with a, a bi this. guy? Yeah, I'm bi as well. No, no. Would Would you be okay with a bi guy? Yes. Yeah, uh, you two uh, are just not, a but, but 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 you'd be okay with that. So personally, um, I actually don't. Um, so wait, what? Personally, the answer is not just a simple yes. No, that personally, I don't date by men. What? No, um, no. Not that the, that that I have anything against them. Do you're just not thing. attracted to them. I'm just not attracted. Hey, to them. I, I want to ask the same question to you really quick. Same thing. You would be so okay I'm with that. Everything wrong about oh, you. Yeah. I thought you would. <laughs> yeah, same, like like same thing. What would you? You would you, you would be with you, like you would still marry him if he proposed and he told you that he did 20 years of gay porn and then you know. Like, and then you okay get. Yeah, I am. Um, and then you mentioned that a year before he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's proposing to you, and he's like, on, like right before he proposes, he's like, "Look, I want to get married, but I need to be honest with I you. I got to tell you the truth." I think that, like, as long as we've had this whole entire relationship and it's built on something, if to the point where I'm already getting married to you, I already have built that trust up with you, and it's not that I'm not capable of replacing you or like I'm too emotionally attached. It's just the fact that like that's forgivable you know everybody has deep down shit that they have that not necessarily everybody's comfortable with bringing up to and it's not that you weren't safe to bring it up to me but it's just like i don't care how you judge the guy this the whole point of this is to bring up well, that's a, a what I'm point saying. That i'm trying to make yeah like i i would you, still, you, you marry would still marry him yeah. okay well i want you to know and understand like i've asked that question a lot across a and lot of most panels women are not gonna and, but that. i want to explain to y'all why though okay because a guy who fucks other guys, okay, and y'all get married, that is a chance that at any point in your marriage, you could lose him because he always, he's always going to go hang out with guys or he's always going to be around men at work or something like that. He always has an opportunity to leave you and y'all really give a fuck about the investment that you put into somebody. Because if you lost that, if y'all were married for five years, then you lost your investment, you lost your time, which is a big deal for women, okay? So like we're, we're, we're complete opposites when it comes to that. I wanted to ask now really quick, would you... Um, what, 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 what would bother you more if your man emotionally cheated on you or sexually cheated on you? Emotionally. Emotionally? Probably the same. Emotionally? They asked this question across the board to men, women, gay, straight, bi, um, trans, all of them across the board. And no, it got people born as men and women born as women have the same answer to this question usually. And usually it's for women, you care about the emotional attachment because if he cheat, if he cheats emotionally, if he's in love with that other woman, your investment that y'all had in him for years is gone. And he's going to go to the other person and support their family and go to them. So y'all give a fuck about the emotional attachment where guys, we always ask, did you fuck him? Did you like we we give a fuck about the physical sexual cheating that that, that, that happened. So and the reason why we care about it is because what well, we talked about reason. earlier. Don't say the reason. What do you guys think the reason is? Why is it the difference between the two genders when it comes it's to cheating? Because you want to physically dominate something. No. No, no, no. Even if you believe that, what's the root reason for it? Why are we like this? Why are we different when it comes to looking at cheating? I think, like, from the physical aspect, you guys kind of, like, <laughs> you like to know that you are the only one in, like, touch. It's I a think lot that, more like, simpler than you think. But where does that, really? where does that thought so comes it's from? the simplest I'm thing to that you could you ever is, imagine. Is it nature or is it social construct? Oh, that nature. Well, it's nature, but there's one thing it's specifically nature. in nature that causes this. You can tell them that. It's a having a child, and we could not tell. We could not tell the baby right. was ours for thousands of years. There was no test to figure out if the baby was my DNA or not for hundreds of thousands of years. I actually did know that. So, so I really give a fuck about that pussy loyalty. I really give a fuck about that being mine and not going to anybody else. Like, and like y'all give a fuck about provisioning loyalty. Y'all don't want me running off and giving my money, energy, attention, and time to other women. We don't want you going and giving away your vagina to other men because 
I don't know if the baby's mine then. That makes a lot of sense. Even though we have birth control and pregnancy yeah. tests and well, all now this stuff. Like, now yeah. we do. But we but still care. Yeah. <laughs> you just yeah, can't help it. Yeah, I can't get rid of my hard wiring to be worried about that shit. That's why guys get jealous. Like, like one of my favorite parts in Dr. David Buss's book is when he talks about jealousy. Because we think jealousy is this horrible thing. And it's something through all of history we had because it kept us together. And it kept us from fucking up in nature. If women were are sometimes jealous about certain things, then she's going to make sure that her boyfriend is isn't running off and giving his resources to other women. If the guy is jealous about certain things, it's going to make sure that she doesn't, he doesn't end up taking care of the, another guy's kid for 18 years. We, we both have reasons why we're jealous and there's nothing wrong with jealousy. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, we're, guys, we're actually going to uh, close it up tonight because we were going to uh, end just a little bit early. Sorry, but um, let's do, you do the last. Do you have any questions? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do y'all have any questions really quick? No. No? Okay. Uh, yeah, just for my last question, I always ask, you know, uh, what do you think for the show? Did anything resonate, and would you like to come back? Um, I like this show. It's interesting, even though I don't speak as much or, like, it's whatever. Um, it's good to have a 20-year-old's perspective, honestly. <laughs> um, we, we haven't had a lot of people at your age that come on. Uh, I would come back if it was, like, a different topic, but... She's you know. saying I'd come back if this guy wasn't here. You can say it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, I want you to come back next time when we have like a really strong sexual topic because I know that's what you like to talk about on your stuff. And actually, I'm probably going to go watch some of your content so then like I can try to rebuttal you on stuff because I've watched some of it and I disagreed with fucking 90% of it. Yeah, so I, I would love to so. like, I would definitely like to like come and like, I don't know, even if we maybe did an episode where it was just me and you and we just went over yeah, some of your stuff and job. just like commentated <laughs> over it, you know, together. Just something like that. I would love to like go over shit like that with you one time. Um, well, what about you? Um, did you like the show? Would you uh, did, did anything resonate? And would you come back? I think um, we all just. I think for us, we just have really different opinions. I appreciate it just because, like, for me personally, I always like hearing different people's perspectives because I feel like it challenges everybody. Because if you're always surrounding yourself with people that specifically think the same exact way, then what are you fucking doing? But also, um, yeah, we just don't agree on a lot. Yeah. But I kind of like it that way. <laughs> Yeah, the I biggest read on a lot actually. Yeah, and, and a lot of like my stuff though, I really want y'all to understand. Like, don't shoot the messenger. A lot of the shit that I say on this show, I literally take from straight evolutionary like psychologists, people that spend their whole life, you know, eight, ten years, twenty years studying, doing studies on this type of shit. So I'm not pulling shit out of my ass. I'm literally telling y'all exactly how men and women are in general. Obviously, there's people that can be exceptions to the rules, but at the end of the day, there is a best path for most things and that's what we try to teach on the show is just like you know there is a better way of doing it and this might be the better way of doing it you know that's all and like we're just trying to fix the world this world's really fucked up right now and i'm gonna be honest with you it's because of sleeping around it's because of people having sex too much and like if we're actually just turning into fucking monkeys like we were millions of years ago when we should just fucking you know try to be a little bit higher intelligence and control ourselves but we live in a hedonistic society where everywhere we turn there's pornography or an ass hanging out so we're gonna have a bunch of people on the show that uh, live hedonistic lifestyles. And I'm going to love that every time. I'm always going to encourage y'all to come. Uh, the biggest thing uh, that uh, you see, you've never been on the show before, but the biggest thing I preach on here is I just want y'all to get into relationships. That's all I give a fuck about. If you want to. If you want to. Yeah. If you're the type of girl that wants to be married or have kids, you should come on the show a thousand times. You say you don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to. You just yeah. told us you don't want to be in a relationship. Yeah. So like my advice, stupid. my advice does nothing for you. Sadly, it just doesn't. It's yeah. not, it's it's useless, absolutely. But um, but no, I really appreciate you for coming. I would love for you to come back, though, honestly. Like, so that was an interesting show. Um, <laughs> you know, luckily we didn't have to kick anyone off. No one cried. I'm you glad know, I didn't that walk was good. Out. That was... <laughs> no, she yeah. was like, I was close, but I, I was I, like, I motherfucker, no. Yeah, no, it's okay. No, it was good. You know. Hey y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.